Welcome back to Detroit Wants to Know. This week we're coming to you from Cafe de Mango on Griswold Street in the new downtown Detroit. My guest this segment is Sherman Eaton. Sherman Eaton, 30 years ago, started the Native Detroiter magazine. Many of you have seen it in barber shops and beauty shops, sitting around in bars. But Sherman created this thing. Sherman, I say to you today, there's nothing more important than being a Native Detroiter. And I absolutely agree with you, and thanks for inviting me. I enjoy your show immensely. Sherman, you created this magazine oh so, so long ago. How have you seen Detroit change? Detroit has changed in every aspect of life. Our schools have changed, our businesses have changed, our labor market has changed, our politics has changed. Every aspect of Detroit that is here today that was here 30 years ago has absolutely changed. Probably the most notable change would be the exodus of over 500,000 people to the suburbs and the problems and conditions and changes that that brought. When 500,000 people decided to leave Detroit, we took a huge hit in our tax revenue. We took a hit in our neighborhoods with vacant houses. We took a hit in crime. We took hits in almost every area, even education. So the changes have been immense and they've been steady. They've been immense and they've been steady, but what about the native Detroiters? Is it done for us? Of course not, because in a free society, everybody has an opportunity to play. If you can't play with one team, you have to play with another. But as long as you have capital, as long as you have good ideals, you can always play, but you cannot always play in everybody's game. Sometimes you have to create your own shot. Sherman, when I was preparing for this show today, I was talking to my neighbor outside my house. I saw a Caucasian woman run by my house in a sports bra, jogging, mm -hmm. chilling, feeling perfectly at home. And I, I said, you know, I gotta talk to Sherman today. Sherman, are we being displaced? We're not being displaced, we're just having a new addition to our family. I look at newcomers with welcome arms. This city cannot survive without new people. They cannot survive without people who care and love and feel safe in this city. I love to see people riding their bicycles. I love to see people pushing their children in strollers. I love all of that. Of course, we're not being displaced. We're just having a new addition to our family and I think it's a welcome addition and a, a, I think it's something that I look forward to. Okay. Where can we find the fabulous native Detroiter these days? The native Detroiter is everywhere. Every barber shop, every bar, every doctor's office. I cover every square foot of this city. I get in my truck and I stop it everywhere. I jump out and I drop all books and I get back in that truck and I keep going. So everywhere that you look, I hope that I've already been there. Well, in the last episode, I want to thank you. In the last edition, you put me down as one of the top 100 single men. <laughs> Dude, <laughs> thanks a lot, buddy. I love it when you do that stuff. Sherm, I want to thank you for coming by. Uh, if somebody wants to contribute to the uh, Native Detroiter, where can they call? They just give me a call at 313-822-1958. Okay, when the fall comes around, I want to talk about that Michigan, Michigan State <laughs> okay. uh, game. All right, hey. it won't be the same without our main man, Dwight. No, it won't be, but it will be there. All right, thank talk you. To you. Ladies and gentlemen, we'll be, right, we'll be right back, and I'm going to show you access to capital from the Detroit Economic Growth Corporation. You won't believe this. Sherman says you got to have capital. They can show you how to get capital. We'll be right back. <laughs>